Today we are in the capital city of Romania, Bucharest. And we are here to take you guys on a traditional Romanian food tour. Today makes three weeks that we've been in Romania. While we've tried some foods while we've been traveling, we've been eating a lot in the van, focused on saving money. But today the budget goes out the window and we are jumping into the Romanian cuisine. We wanna try some traditional dishes, maybe some street foods, and just whatever we can experience along the way. It's got like vinegar, garlic, celery, intestines. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared. If you've been following us for a while you know that I've been through a lot of intestine and stomach issues and my diet is super strict but I've taken all my medicines and I've been eating clean for a while I'm feeling great and I'm gonna have to cheat a little bit today let's get our taxi into the city We just made it to the Ober Market, which is Romania's largest market. They have fresh fruits, veg, meat, all sorts of different things that we're gonna check out, but we did come here for a specific reason. Apparently they have amazing meat, which we're about to go try. I can already smell the meat smoking. The name of the place we're gonna be trying the meat is Teresa Obor. It's supposed to be famous. I've read online that sometimes this line could wrap all the way down and around. Looks like we got here nice and early. We won't have to wait too long to get this in our bellies because we are hungry. We have not eaten today. You know it's good whenever the locals are lined up out the door. Can I do um, four of the meat? Thank Thanks you. So I have been looking forward to trying this dish ever since we knew we were coming to Romania. This is meech. It's a grilled meat roll. It typically consists of beef and either lamb or pork. Not sure which one this is mixed with, but I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. Also, it came with a little bit of mustard and a side of bread. Just look at that. Like I can feel it, it's so hot. It just came off the grill and it looks and smells delicious. Mm -hmm. So good. It's just juicy and flavorful with herbs and spices and really, really piping hot, which is so good. And I was told that the meat is best paired with a Romanian beer. So let's see if the flavors combine really well. Mm -hmm. They pair perfectly together. Such a good combination. You're gonna love this. This is like your perfect meal. Yes. I would say food number one has been a success. Whenever you first come to Obermarket, you'll notice that outside there's plenty of stalls for fruit and vegetables, but then also there's an indoors and they have even more. There's so much produce from Romania here. Cherries are so sweet. One thing we've noticed, like when we've been in the grocery stores, a lot of the strawberries have been almost like rotten before we got them, but here they're like so good and so juicy. Okay. Stocked up. Thank you. Just got a whole handful of these chilies for five Romanian lei. The green onions and all those peppers were only 10 lei. Definitely hit a steal coming to this market. Ooh, spicy. Nice and crunchy. At first it tasted like almost like a bell pepper. And here comes the spice. This is gonna be a good addition to our fajitas. Yeah? Yes. I try? Oh yeah. Definitely has a kick to it. <sighs> I feel like my name's Dylan and I spit hot fire. Oh, he's going back for seconds. Hell yeah. Who are you? I love spicy foods. 
The boar market has been amazing. We've stocked up on plenty of fruits and vegetables for Alba, but we've got a ton more of Romanian food to eat today. So next stop, Old Town. got dropped off on the edge of Old Town. It is a pedestrian only zone, so no cars can drive in. We've got a couple stops to do around here, but we really wanna check out the architecture as well. Bucharest is like so busy and happening, but it's an awesome mixture of modern architecture and then just this old, beautiful Romanian architecture that I'm super pumped to check out up close. Like I said, the perfect mix of modern and old. Right behind us, you've got this beautiful church and then a sign leading you to a subway. Our next stop, we're gonna be eating lunch at the Hanu Loi Manuk restaurant. It's supposed to have authentic Romanian cuisine and there's a few things that we wanna try there. This restaurant was recommended to us by a couple of locals when we reached out on Instagram for recommendations. So we're really excited to go here and it's right here in Old Town. So we finish up, we'll be able to walk around and check out all this architecture. For our beverage, we've decided a traditional fresh squeezed lemonade and it's come out all nice with the mint leaves and fresh lemons. I'm excited to try it. Oh yeah, fresh lemonade without 10 tons of sugar in it. First up, we've got the Zacusco, which is an eggplant and tomato puree cooked over a wood fire. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to eat this, which makes me sad because it kind of looks like the Ajap Sindali that we had in Georgia, which was delicious. Then we've got the Jamira, which is a pork cracklings. I'm really ready to try those. We're from the South and pork cracklings are a staple. And then we've got a red pepper salad that looks delicious as well. We decided to go with sort of a light lunch. That way we can keep eating along the road today. Pork crack on. It's definitely a little chewy, which is normal for a crackling. It's like the back fat of the pig. It's cold, which is something I wasn't expecting. I expected it to be like more warm and crispy, but the flavor is awesome. In this pepper salad, there's tomatoes, which I'm going to avoid, but this looks like a vinegar-based sauce, probably. And then there's whole peppers inside of it. And that's really good. That, like, pickled sauce or vinegar sauce is delicious. And then I love peppers, so. Definitely a lot less spicy than that uh, chili was in the market earlier. I get to try this acousca. Sean sadly does not get to try that today, but it should have like tomatoes, eggplants, onions, zucchini, all sorts of good stuff in there. I think it's basically used as like a dip for your bread. So I got the fresh bread here. I'm gonna see what it tastes like. It does have a very similar taste to the Ajax and Dali that we had in Georgia. It's like sweet and rich at the same time. So good. And it is cold. It's not hot, which as of Sadali traditionally is served cold as well. And I love fresh bread. <laughs> you ready to walk off some of this food so we can eat some more? I feel like you could use a coffee. The difference between being at a local market and being in a tourist area and eating at a nicer restaurant is pretty crazy. We bought all those fruits, vegetables, had the meat, a beer, and spent around 100 lei, so 20 US dollars. But just now, we were here, we got a couple appetizers and two lemonades with some bread, 167.44 lei. It's crazy to see the price difference, you know, just a couple blocks away. And personally, I mean, all the food was really good, but I would love to try it in a more authentic outside of a tourist area to get a real feel for the authentic cuisine but this was somewhere that was recommended to us so do you want to get a starbucks do you want she's to? really breaking the budget today huh do you want to get a starbucks sure i could go with a java chip frappe lactose free okay <laughs> this is not part of the food tour but it is part of the food tour i guess <laughs> Change of plans, but Starbucks got me as full. I don't know if I can handle any more food right now. I think we're gonna go for a walk through Old Town and then we'll stop for our street food on the way over towards the Parliament building. Beep.
burger traditional? We just made a stop by Luca, which is more like a fast food place to get these traditional pretzel wraps. This one that I got is called the Covert Traditional. It's got a ham and mozzarella inside of like a pretzel roll. It looks delicious. They had a bunch of different flavors. Um, I read online that like a lot of the locals eat it and literally they're all over the city and everyone we've passed has had a line by it. So I was like, hey, we gotta try this place. And besides the gluten, I can eat everything that's in it. So it's kind of a safe bet. I didn't get any ham, but the pretzel part and the cheese, it has like a butter on the outside. That's good. For less than five lei, it was definitely worth it. It's like a dollar. If I was working in the city, I'd definitely have this for a quick lunch. Mm -hmm. Street food always comes through, right? One last stop for our food tour. We're gonna go grab some dinner and we're doing it in style. We decided to take these scooters because the traffic's pretty crazy around this time right now. It'll be about 30 minutes just to go like a mile or two up the road. You ready? got pretty good bike lanes here in Bucharest. That's good. At least not worrying too much about getting smashed by a car yet. Architecture here is insane, dude. Look at this church or a museum. I don't know what it is. It's gorgeous. Ooh. Let's wait for Mary. You almost ran into a pole. <laughs> Last second, I was like looking at that museum and the most smashed a pole. Reckless driving, baby. That's what I'm good at. Stay in your lane, bro. There's lane. Looks like we still gotta go a couple of blocks up on this road. Once we get to a Roman building, then we'll make a right. A Roman building? Yeah. Should I beep? Is there a beep? Beep beep. Beep beep. Pay attention to me. <laughs> Found the horn. Marissa's so easily amused. I think this is the end of our scooter trip. We're about a couple hundred feet away. We're gonna park them here so we don't have to stop in a no parking zone. Kick stands in the back. Push it down. Bring it back. Expert. For dinner, we decided to try out La Mama. It seems to be kind of a chain, like there's eight or nine locations throughout Bucharest. But from what I saw, it was only in Bucharest, so maybe they just franchised in the area. But all the reviews were great. People online told us to come try it out. If it was a bad choice, let us know in the comments below. This ended up being the perfect place to come to because they actually have tasting menus. On our list for La Mama, we were gonna try chorba, sarmali, and then papanasi for dessert. Um, we're still doing that, but they have the chorba tasting menu, which is just sour soups, but a bunch of them. So we get to see which one we like the best. Ooh. We have the peasant soup, which is like smoked pork ribs. Then we have the bean soup with smoked bacon. We have the tripe sour soup. If you don't know what tripe is, it is intestines. This will be our first time ever having anything with intestines. So I'm very interested in what that tastes like. This one is the veal sour soup and then the chicken soup. First time trying Romanian soups. Chorba. Chorba. Chorba is the name. Which one should I try first, Sean? Go all in for the intestines. Just go straight in for the intestines? First one. Try. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared. Oh, you always talk about how you want to be adventurous. Here's your opportunity. I'm going to try a little bit of the broth first, and then I'll try the meat. Don't be a... No, nope. all nope. in. Broth first. First bite. Everybody nope. knows the rule. Broth first. First bite. Every, no. The flavor is actually pretty good for the broth. Okay. I'm a little less timid now. Moment of truth. Mm-hmm. It's a little chewy, not too bad. There's like a little bit of a texture on my tongue that kind of reminds me of tongue. Other than that, like the flavor is really good. Like I actually would have probably eaten that if you didn't tell me that there was intestines in it, no problem. Not even think about it twice. Texture's just a little bit different than I'm used to, but honestly, it, it tastes pretty good. Right here, we've got the veal sour soup. You can see the parsley and the parsnips, pieces of veal. That's really good, the veal's super tender. And then you can taste the tomato base that's in it. I'm not supposed to be eating tomato, but it's really good. Next up, we've got the chicken sour soup. It's got like a chicken, cream, 
celery, parsnip, eggs. Oh yeah, that one's got a ton of flavor. That chicken's all nice and moist, falling apart. You can taste the cream in it, which I'm not supposed to eat. But, and then all the herbs. Last two for us to try is the baked beans with bacon and the peasant soup, which is smoked ribs. So I'm gonna try these both. I think I'm gonna start with the bean soup with bacon. Looks pretty good. Look at that big chunk of meat right there. Um, beans, you got some celery. It's very brothy. I got a little bit of bacon, a little bit of beans, the broth, some herbs. Mmm. That meat is good. It doesn't even taste like, like the bacon that I think of back home. It tastes just like thick ham, like very smoky flavor. And the soup reminds me of the meat soup in Iceland, where it's like very thin broth, kind of like a beefy, beany flavor. That's what it tasted like in Iceland. And Beef and beans. Beef and beans. Last one is the peasant soup, which has the pork ribs. It uh, also has some potatoes. This one looks a lot more creamy than the other ones. That one tastes a little bit more vegetable-y. Like, I can definitely taste the potato, the carrots, the oil, everything that's in that. I can taste it a little bit more. It's a little bit more fresh. I would kind of think that I'm eating a vegetable soup, not a meat soup, just from the broth. All of these are delicious. I definitely think the chicken was my favorite and then the bean soup. I really like the bean and pork. That was delicious. I've been looking forward to this all day. We're about to try the Somali, which is like a minced meat wrapped with bacon and cabbage leaves. I cannot wait to try this. It's also served with polenta and a side of cabbage and even one of these chilies that we tried earlier. I might have like a tiny little bite of that with my food so it's not too spicy. So I'm honestly not sure how to eat it. I'm assuming I can just do it with a fork and a knife, unlike the meat where you eat it with your hands. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Let me get a little bit of this. Moment of truth, it's what I've been looking forward to all day. I don't even know if I can explain the flavor of this. There's so much flavor to it. I can taste like tomato juices and the richness from the cabbage and the meat is so tender. It is really good actually. I was right to look forward to this all day. <laughs> mm. I'm not a big fan of cabbage, so I don't know if I'm gonna like them. I think you're gonna like them. It's gonna be hard not to like them. I can see the minced meat and the cabbage inside of it. It does look super tender. Honestly, I was really scared it was gonna have that like sour cabbage taste. And the meat and the tomato base and the onions overpower it, which makes me happy because I am not a big cabbage fan. Our last food at this restaurant is Papa Nasi. I had a customer the other day whenever I was tattooing in Cebu recommend this dessert and I knew I had to try it. It's basically like a fried pastry filled with urda, which is a Romanian sweet cheese, and topped with fruit. Not sure what fruit yet, but it looks so good. One bite, everybody knows the rules. The cheese is really nice and thick. It's sweet, but also with a little bit of a sour taste, but the jam kind of balances that up perfectly. And the donut is really, really fluffy. It's kind of like cakey on the inside. I don't know what this is, but I'm about to crack this open real fast. I think it's just a tiny little donut. Like a donut ball? Yeah. Yep, just a tiny little version. This little donut ball is like covered in sugar. It's super sweet. It's like a munchkin on steroids. <laughs> Unfortunately, our Romanian food tour is coming to an end, but we've got one more stop. Well, miss, I guess I'll be on my way now. You just give me a. Got the lemon. That's a good donut. Is it? Yeah. It's got like a lemon cream on the inside and then a powdered sugar. And then, like, the actual donut is so thick and moist. It's like cake. The gagosi? The gagosi. And he got me a raspberry one because they ran out of chocolate. 
delicious. I love the little poof in that thing. You can tell it's from fresh raspberries. Yeah, that don't isn't that donut like so like moist, like mm. thick too. And powdered sugar is so good on it. A great way to end our food tour. Today we have completely went outside of our comfort zone. We've tried tripe, we've had veal, we've tried chili peppers, I've even, even eaten cabbage. If you enjoy these food tours, make sure you drop a comment below, subscribe, and let us know because we've got some food tours coming up, hopefully. Morris will be in Morocco. We might do one in Turkey. We've got Bulgaria and then Macedonia. So let us know if you'd like to see more food tours below. My wife is such a pansy. Everything's scary. The driving here is insane. Authentic Romanian cuisine. Pizza Hut. That guy was trying to get run over. Uh, the flavor of the broth of the tripe, I really like. <sighs> but I don't like the texture. Marissa was a tripe blend. Woman. Really? Mm -mm. Intestines are not for me. I'm growing into such an adult. You starting to like vegetables. What is life? So proud of you, babe. Wait, what do I mean? That's a wrap.